What power does the Holy Spirit give us? Answer, the Holy Spirit gives us the power to be his witnesses. How are we his witnesses? Answer, the same way you're a witness about everything. The word witness is a word that you will find in the Greek has made its way over into the English and it talks about ultimately how committed we should be to what we are witnessing to. But here is what witnesses always are. Are you ready? Witnesses are always people that say something is so and give testimony to the fact that it is true. Let me say that again. That's all it means to be a witness. Is. They know something is so and they testify to its truth. You don't have to be an expert witness. You don't have to be somebody that can sit there and um, know all about ballistics. All you got to say is that guy shot that guy. I don't need to be able to deconstruct weaponry. I don't need to be talking about the travel and velocity and uh, the range of different ammunition and loads. All I got to say is this is what I know. It is so. And I'm going to testify to its truth. That's what witnesses do. And what are we witnesses of? We are witnesses of the fact that God is good, his word is true, that he is sovereign, that he has overcome the grave, that the solution to man's sin and the uh, curse of death is Jesus Christ himself, who has come, whom God made sin on our behalf, that we might become the righteousness of God in him, that God's eternal debt was paid through his eternal son, so we might be free. Witnesses are people who know something is true and they testify to it in word and in deed. That's the second thing. They know something is so, they speak it, and they live it.